Praise the Lord, everyone. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. We thank the Lord for Praise you that are Praise. you that are here. Praise God. We're gonna uh, go ahead and get started at this time. Amen. Um, we're going to uh, ask that you uh, bow your heads and lift your hearts to the Lord for word of prayer. Gracious Father, we thank you today, oh Lord, for allowing us this privilege, this opportunity, once again, to come together, Lord God, on this platform and, Lord God, to delve into your word. I pray, oh Lord God, that you would lead us and you would guide us, oh God, through, oh Lord God, these scriptures that we're about to uh embark upon lord i pray oh god that you would give us the understanding the correct understanding oh god in your word lord god that we may apply it to our lives lord god that we may lord god then honor you lord god with our obedience amen to your word we thank you and i pray oh god that you would look upon each home and each family pray that you would strengthen oh god as only you can pray lord god hallelujah that you would even bless throughout the day lord Lord God, you know what we stand in the need of. And most of all, Lord God, I pray, oh God, that you would touch hearts, touch minds, Lord God, touch souls, oh God. Lord God, fill them with your spirit, Lord. Let mankind, oh God, come to understand that they need you, Lord. And without you, Lord, we can do nothing. We ask that you, these things in your name we pray. We say amen and amen. Praise God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Uh, I believe on... Uh, Tuesday evening, we had uh, uh, concluded uh, the second chapter, uh, the book of Romans, um, but you know how I do sometimes to kind of go back a little bit, and I'm not going to go very far back up into uh, chapter two, but I want to begin at that um, uh, 29th and uh, well, actually, 28th and 29th verse. Um, and I want to begin there and just then we'll head down into uh, chapter number three. Praise God. How many? How are you all feeling today? Blessed. Blessed. Praise all the Lord. Right. Amen. No, praise praise the Lord. Lord. All right. Praise God. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Praise God. God is good. Praise the Lord. All right, so uh, verse 28 and verse 29 says, for he is not a Jew, which is one outwardly, neither is that circumcision, which is outward in the flesh, but he is a Jew, which is one inwardly, and circumcision is that of a heart in the spirit and not in the letter whose praise is not of men. Praise God. And so when he talks about, uh, for he is not a Jew, he, uh, Paul is writing in, in a, uh, here and he, you know, so, and he's essentially saying he who is merely a descendant of Abraham, Amen. Praise God. And is circumcised and, and is circumcised uh, externally. You know, he conforms to the law, only does not possess the true character and manifest that true spirit um, that the Lord is looking for. Um, and he, he essentially here, amen, praise God, the essence of 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 of, of that. Uh, and as he says here in verse number 29, but he is a Jew. And, and, and again, the true essence of it is, 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 which is one inwardly. And I believe on um, the other evening, we, we, we read a couple of scriptures from the, the Old Testament that talk about having that circumcision, not of the flesh, but of the heart. Okay. And so when Paul is speaking here, and, and again, he's speaking directly to his Jewish brethren here. All right? He says, what really constitutes you being, you know, what 
that that it, it, that that true Jew, if you will, is it, it begins. Amen. Praise God with the with that 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 heart. It begins inwardly. Amen. And I I I looked at that, and you know, um, you know, we've been talking a lot about um, over the last, I believe. Uh, we've seen it, I believe, in in in, in the book of uh, Timothy. Uh, we see it here, uh, book of Second Timothy, and we see it here, you know. And we we see, uh, you know, uh, uh, maybe the emphasis is placed on uh, the external. Praise God, Amen. And not necessarily where it really needs to be. Praise God. And that is, it begins inwardly. Amen. And, you know, uh, Paul talking to his son, Timothy, you know, telling them, I believe in, 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 in second Timothy, amen. Speaking of those that, that had a, a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof. And, you know, he, he warned them of these and, and those, amen, praise God, when we look at it and it, 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 it appears, praise the Lord, amen, that that, I, and I, for lack of a, a better way of putting it, um, for that, you know, that, that, that spirit, if you will, you know, uh, is 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 very much alive and present even at this present time. He says again in 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 Second Timothy three and five, having a form of godliness but denying the power thereof. From and he told him this from such these, you know, turn away. Praise God. And I think specifically as it relates to how in the context in which he was doing. He was particularly talking about those teachers, amen, praise God, amen, that were teaching others, amen. And, but, you know, but the, the application is, is, can be expanded, you know, in the sense that, you know, when he talks about even here, those that, you know, they, you know, you look at it from, even from that, that, that Pharisee who talks about how he keeps the law, but it's an outward obedience if you will it does not begin in the in the heart or when we talk about the heart let's let's kind of you know uh make sure we understand when we talk about we're, we're, we're talking about the mind okay and you know there has to be amen praise god a willingness of mind amen praise the lord to to to, to, to truly serve God. Amen. We, you know, there are so many things that, you know, if you, if, if, if we're not careful, we'll get, we'll, we'll become satisfied with the external. And what do I mean by that? I mean, you know, coming together, gathering, amen, praise God, having praise and worship and being able to testify and things of this nature and all of this, praise God, amen. But it long before we get there, where it begins is in our mind, in our heart, amen. What does that relationship between you and God look like? Praise God. And when you think about even in, in, in the scripture, how that when, when Paul, or rather, excuse me, Peter, I believe, amen, makes this, you know, declaration in Acts chapter, amen, praise God, 15 and verse 8, when he says, and God, which knoweth the hearts, bear them witness, giving them what the Holy Ghost, even as he did unto us. So the one thing we, 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 we want to set forth first, amen, praise God, even in our argument, guess what? God knows our heart. I want that to sink in a minute. God knows our heart. So many times we an energy is spent trying to convince others that we are, you know, we have a we have a picture in mind that we want to present, amen, to others. But first and foremost, please understand this. God knows our heart. He knows where we are. Praise God. He knows whether or not, amen, our testimony is consistent with our life, with our walk, praise God. 
Amen. Um, I, I, we need to establish that. I think a lot of times um, we forget that, or if we forget, or if we have not forgotten that, then essentially what we're doing, Amen. Praise God. and we're doing this with premeditation. Is it's, it's it's really we're deceiving. Praise God. If we're saying we are something or at a place where we know we are not, praise God. Amen. And so, amen, first and foremost, amen, praise God, let us realize, amen, praise God, that God knows our heart. And at, we, we established this uh, in, in Acts chapter uh, 15 and 8. And I, I, I want to add to that, we, we, we looked at this a few weeks ago, amen, praise God, Hebrews chapter 4, amen. Hebrews chapter four, uh, for the word, verse 12, for the word of God is quick, it's living, uh, powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit and of the joints and, of the, and marrow and is a discerner of the thoughts and the intents. Look, the thoughts and the intents of the heart. It is a discerner, praise God. It knows, praise God, amen of the thoughts and the intents of the heart. Look at what he says, neither is there any creature that is not manifest in his sight, but all things are naked and open unto the eyes of him with whom we have to do. Praise God, amen. I want us to think about that, praise God, that if God all knows all of this, amen, praise God, and our life is not consistent with what we're saying, then who are we? Or what are we considered? It's not a rhetorical statement. I'm looking for an answer from somebody. Hypocrite. Thank, thank you, uh, Sister Taylor. Thank you. Amen. That's what we are. Praise God. And guess what a hypocrite does? It, 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 a hypocrite intentionally amen, wants to deceive, intentionally, I'll say that again, intentionally, praise God, amen, and so again, I, I want to state this clearly, God knows, praise the Lord, amen, and we need to, amen, praise God, we need to approach whatever we do with that understanding that God already knows, amen, praise God, our thoughts, the intentions that we have, praise God. He knows where we are in him. So the emphasis is placed on, as Paul puts here, he is not a Jew, you know, in the truest sense, which is one outwardly. But verse 29, he is a Jew, which is one inwardly. Praise God. Amen. In other words, amen, it begins from the heart. Holiness begins from the inside. Praise God. Amen. And it's what? It is manifest on the outside. And here's the other side of amen, praise God, amen, uh, 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 living, amen, praise the Lord, something that is false. Eventually, your fruit will manifest itself. Praise God. Amen. And rest assured, amen, praise God, amen, again, amen, praise the Lord, amen, you, you may think you can fool this person, the other person, or what have you, but ultimately, I mean, not ultimately, we don't fool God, and ultimately, amen, praise God, it will be known, praise the Lord. And so we want to, amen, praise God, when we, when we deal with God, we have to, we have to deal with him from the perspective Amen, praise God, or from the point of view that he knows all, praise God, he is ever present, praise God. There's not a conversation you can have that he does not know, praise God, amen. And so, amen, these are the things, I'm not telling us, amen, praise God, to walk around on eggshells, amen, praise God, amen. It is the one that is not walking right that walks around on eggshells, praise the Lord. Amen. But what we want to do, amen, praise God, our walk, our conduct, amen, we want it to be pleasing in the sight of God. Remember, we talk about, amen, doing service unto the Lord. Well, who 
can do that service. Praise God. Who can? Who will the Lord accept? I guess we haven't had our morning coffee yet. Praise Those God. that obey the word. Thank Come you, brother. And and truth. <laughs> Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Um, I'll read this uh, passage again. Uh, the, uh, I think we read it the, um, the last Sunday, or we read it, uh, I believe, Tuesday evening in uh, the book of, uh, book of Songs, and it says in uh, Songs 24 and 3, who shall ascend into the hill of the Lord, or who shall stand in his holy place? All right. And he, he goes on, the psalmist goes, he that hath clean hands and a pure heart who have not lifted up his soul unto vanity, nor sworn deceitfully, praise God. Amen, we see this, praise the Lord, amen. And while I'm here, amen, in the book of Psalms, I'm just gonna go, praise God, as, as the Lord leads us today, praise God. And, you know, the scripture tells us uh, in Psalms 51 and, 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 and and, and, and 16, for thou desirest not sacrifice, else would I give it. Thou delightest not in burnt offering. The sacrifices of God are a broken spirit and a broken and contrite heart, okay? O God, thou wilt not despise. Do good in thy good pleasure unto Zion. Build thou the walls of Jerusalem. Look at what he says. Now, then shall thou please, then shall thou be pleased with the sacrifices of righteousness, with burnt offering and whole burnt offering. Then shall they offer bullocks unto thine altar. Praise God. What are they doing now? They're doing service unto him, but they're doing it with what? Clean hands. Praise God. They're doing it, praise God, amen, with that broken spirit and, that, and, and, and a contrite heart. Praise God. Amen. With the right spirit. Praise God. Amen. And so this is what uh, the Lord wants. And again, amen. He, guess what? Again, and, I, and, and a lot of what I'm do, saying right now, amen, praise God, we already know. I'm just reminding us of what we, amen, already know or should know, praise God, that God does not accept just anything. Praise God. Amen. It has to be, amen, praise God, amen, the way that he would have it to be. And guess what? He laid it out for them praise God, and he also lays it out, amen, praise God, even in his church, even in his body, praise God, amen, if it is about, again, amen, being obedient to the Lord, and how does that happen? It happens, amen, through us obeying the word of God, and so, amen, I just wanted to uh, begin today with that lesson, and just remind us, because, again, it seems to me, and you know, we're living in a, in a time when you see a lot of this, you see a lot of hypocrisy, you see a lot of those that are saying, I belong to him from the crown of my head to the sole of my feet, amen, I belong to God, but our life does not, amen, praise God, amen, confirm that, praise the Lord. I remember, amen, praise God, and on one occasion, John the Baptist, they were, amen, they were the Pharisees and others that were talking to him, and he told them, amen, to, you know, to come back with fruits of repentance. In other words, amen, those things that say, amen, that you have a changed heart, amen, that you have a changed mind. In other words, those actions. And, you know, we, we, we grew up in a time when that saying was, you know, our actions speak louder than our words. Praise God. So let your actions, amen, praise God. And they will, whether you, amen, desire them or not, they will speak for us. Praise God. Amen. So God bless you. We're going to continue on down into um, chapter uh, number three. And so Paul continues and he, uh, this, this series of questions here, what advantage then hath the Jew? Praise God. And, you know, uh, what profit is there in circumcision? Okay, if, if this is the case, 
as you stayed here. And what Paul then says, amen, much every way, in other words, much in every way, because that unto them, that is the Jews, were committed the oracles of God. In other words, amen, praise God, then it began with the Jews who were entrusted with, amen, praise God, the oracles or the word of God. For which if some did not believe, shall their unbelief make the faith of God without effect? Amen, put another way, what if some were unfaithful? Praise God. Does their, un, does, does their excuse me, faithlessness nullify the faithfulness of God? Does it? Absolutely not. Praise God. How many know that God is faithful? I, 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 I honestly doubt very seriously that Amen. we can go through the course of a day without recognizing the faithfulness of God. Praise God. Amen. Amen. And so what he says, look, look, no, what if some were unfaithful? Amen. What if they, and they were, speaking of the Jews here, does their faithlessness nullify the faithfulness of God? No, it does not. Praise God. And I am so glad, amen, to know glory to God, hallelujah, that, amen, man's unfaithfulness, our unfaithfulness, praise God to him, amen, praise the Lord does not nullify the faithfulness of God. God forbid, in other words, by no means, let God be true and every man a liar, as it is written, that thou mightest be justified in thy sayings and mightest overcome when thou art judged. He is quoting from that same book of, uh, same chapter in Psalm, Psalms 51, that we just came out at verse number four, blessed is the man whom thou choosest and causes to approach unto thee, that he may dwell in thy courts. We shall, excuse me, we shall be satisfied with the goodness of thy house, even thy holy temple, praise God. Amen. And so, amen, praise God, by no means, praise God, let God be true, though every man be false. Amen. As it is written again, that thou mayest be justified in thy words and prevail when thou art judged. Praise God. Amen. But if our unrighteousness commend the righteousness of God, what shall we say? Is God unrighteous who taketh vengeance? Paul, then, this parenthetical statement, I speak as a man. All right, so, but if our wickedness serves to show the justice of God, what shall we say? That God is unjust to inflict wrath on us? Praise God. Amen. So when you look at it and, you know, it is, you know, Speaking of the idea, if you will, that if, you know, if our unrighteousness brings about the righteousness of God, then, you know, you know, why then would be, we, we be condemned? So is God's righteousness, uh, is, 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 is God unrighteous because of these actions? And when he says, I speak as a man, I speak in a human way. In other words, this is a, perhaps the way, amen, praise God, a man would look at it, praise God, amen, praise the Lord, amen. And so, amen, so when you look at it, amen, praise the Lord, in that sense, amen, praise God, well, it seems like we're doing him a favor by, by, by allowing then, amen, praise God, amen, for them to see Amen. The righteousness of God. In other words, but if our unrighteousness commends or it brings in or brings put on display the righteousness of God, hey, praise God. Amen. And then he says very quickly here, he says, verse six, God forbid by no means for if that is the case, if God is unrighteous, then for how shall God judge the world? Praise God. 
Answer, by no means. God is not unrighteous. For if the truth of God hath abounded more through my lie unto his glory, why yet am I also judged a sinner? But if through my falsehoods, God's truthfulness abounds to his glory, why am I still being condemned as a sinner? Again, still speaking as a man, praise God, and, and not rather as be as we be slanderously reported and as some affirm that we say, let us do evil that good may come. That's the sort of the crux at what he's getting at. Praise God. Well, if, if, if our evil is going to bring about good, then let us continue to do evil. Amen. Praise God. And then he makes this statement whose damnation is just. And basically what Paul is saying, those that think that way, guess what? Amen. Praise God. Amen. You, you, you're going to be condemned. Praise God. And that condemnation will be just. Praise God. Amen. So he kind of refutes that argument. So what he's doing, if you think about it, as he writes, he's also, amen, praise God, you know, predicting, you know, based upon what he is writing, what, 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 what the unrighteous man will say to what he is saying. Or if he will look at it in one sense, you know, as a heckler, amen, praise God, that is really, amen, praise God, amen, praise Lord, condemning uh, what Paul is saying here, praise God. And so, amen, and he answers these questions you know, in, 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 with the, you know, thinking about them in advance, that if what one might say, again, th that if, uh, getting back to it again, that if, you know, uh, when he says that, excuse me, that let us do evil, that good may come, praise God. Well, if that's the case, and if, all unrighteousness commends the righteousness of God, then let us do evil, that good may come. Paul, praise God, amen. And he's telling them, praise the Lord, if, 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 if that is the way you, 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 you think, praise God, you believe, then guess what? You're already condemned. And that condemnation is just because of that wicked thought. Amen, praise God, amen. So when you think about it, you know, when we say, and, and, and as Paul says here, praise God, amen, that, and, and I'll go back up to when we read, praise the Lord, amen, praise God, talking about, amen, the uh, God's faithfulness, you know, what if some don't believe and, and, and shall the unbelief of God make, uh, uh, shall their unbelief make the, the uh, faith of God of, uh, without effect or make it void or nullified and, we, and Paul says no, then why not can we do continue doing what we do, praise God, amen, if it does not have an effect on God or the word of God. Amen. Praise God. And, and then our evil, amen, brings about or, or shows or, amen, the, 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 the good, amen, that may come out of that, praise God, amen, uh, speaking of God's uh, righteousness. And, and so, praise the Lord, amen, the whole design of this is what, amen, praise God, that man would be what, holy, praise the Lord. How many know that? Praise God. Ephesians chapter one, Ephesians chapter one, Paul oh, again writing where he says, Paul, an apostle of Jesus Christ, chapter one, verse one, by the will of God, the saints, uh, to the saints, which are at Ephesus, and to the faithful in Christ Jesus, grace be to you, and peace from God our Father, and from the Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed be the God and Father of 
the Lord Jesus Christ, who have blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Verse four, according as he hath chosen us in him before the foundation of the world that we should be holy and without blame before him in love. Praise God. So before the foundations of the world, amen, praise God, amen, praise the Lord. He had already, amen, praise God, amen, expected, amen, or he already, amen, has pronounced, amen, praise God, that we should be what? Holy and without blame before him in love. Amen. It did not just be it, this, this expectation, amen, praise God, of man did not come about after the fall of man, but even before the world was created, amen, praise God, this was already, amen, praise God, established in the mind of God, praise God, amen, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love, praise God, amen. And so, Praise the Lord. These things, this is not sort of a fallback position. This is not sort of a, a plan B. Amen. Praise God. But this was for from the beginning. So even long before Adam and Eve sinned, amen, in the God, it was already established. Praise God. Amen. Praise the name of our Lord. So, amen. I just want you to keep those things, amen, in mind. So what then are we better than they? Uh, you know. When he talks about better than they, he's essentially talking about are the Jews better off, you know, than the Gentiles, if you will. What is Paul says here? He says, no, in no wise, for we have before proved both Jews and Gentiles that all, that they are all under sin, praise God. As it is written, there is none righteous, no, not one, Psalms 14 and 3, praise God. Verse number uh, 11, there is none that understandeth, there is none that seeketh after God. This is what the psalmist writes. Paul is quoting from Psalms 14 and verse 2. They are all gone out the way. They are together become unprofitable. There is none that, excuse me, there is none that doeth good, no, not one. Praise God. Continuing in that same, amen, praise God, Psalm. Verse 13, their throat is an open sepulchre. Praise God, an open grave. With their tongues, they have used the seat. The poison of asp is under their lips. He's quoting from Psalms 5 and 9 and also from 140 and 3. Their throat is an open grave and they use their tongues to deceive. The venom of ass is under their lips, whose mouth, verse 14, is full of cursing and bitterness. That's Psalms 10 and 7. What is he doing? He's quoting, amen, again, from the scriptures. Praise God. Their feet are swift to shed blood. Praise God. Destruction and misery are in their ways. Praise the Lord. So in their paths are ruin and misery. Verse 17, and the way of peace have they not known. Isaiah 59, verses 7 and 8. There is no fear of God before their eyes. Psalms 36 and 1. Let me stop there a minute. Praise God. There is no fear of God before their eyes. When a person is there, praise God, amen. When there's this, if you look at it in the sense that if there's this, it's uh, almost as if there is this, you know, that our senses have been just sort of seared with a hot iron in the sense that there is no fear of God. When, when there is no fear of God, what happens? I guess that's my question uh, just for a minute here. What, what, what happens when man does not fear 
God. Can you all give me some? Uh, they begin to disobey God. They begin to disobey God. All kind of spirits they get. Uh, the spirit that we talked about in in uh, Romans one. Uh huh. Is just sin, just everything. Uh huh. Okay. <clears throat> Thank you, Mother Arthur. I hope you're feeling better. Praise yes, God. Yes, sir. Thank you. <laughs> Praise God. <laughs> Bless you. Praise God. Any anyone else wants to add? Praise God. Death. Death. Okay. Amen. And they begin to do whatever they want to do, you know, go go their way instead of mm -hmm. listening to God. Mm -hmm. Something else begins to be their God or someone. Okay. someone. Thank you. So someone or something. Amen. They have a form of God but not according to knowledge that's coming to my mind. Okay. Thank you, Mother. Anyone else? Did, did someone say something? I didn't didn't quite get that. Anyone else? Anyone else? They also are not concerned about their latter end or the end times with yes. eternity. All right. Well, yeah. You know, those people who typically, I guess, would believe that once I die, that's it. It's just over. That's it. Yeah. Amen. Praise God. Amen. They do what's right in their own sight. Okay. So they're justified by, you know, uh, themselves. Okay. All right. So they, so there's no con condemnation of any of their actions. Uh, when you literally, I mean, the other side, when you think about it, you know, the, 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 having that right conscious, conscience, amen, comes from God. So, you know how we talk about somebody doing things without a conscience, all right? And, and so literally that, that moral conscious, conscience comes from God, if you will, praise God. And when we lose that, Amen. We 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 spiral down into all kinds of areas of, of of wickedness. Praise God. And and I will say, and even as what was read um, uh, in, I think also that came out of chapter number one, that man or person is so wicked that he, as Paul writes, they they also become inventors, if you will, of evil. In other words, what is what is what is now known and available is not enough. It's not good enough. There has to be, amen, praise God, something even more vile, something even more wicked than what is known even now, praise God, amen. And so th this is what happens, praise God, amen, to, to, to man, to, to, to the whole of man, if you will, or all that do not fear God. Praise God. Amen. So if one does not fear God, praise God, then again, he is not guided by, amen, praise the name of our Lord, amen, the, the if you will, the spirit of God. And I, and I, and I say that in a, in a broad sense because there are those, amen, that have morals. There are those, amen, that have a moral compass or conscience, if you will, praise God. Amen. And so when you think about it, Amen. But I'm talking about those that have gone beyond there. Praise God. Amen. And, and, and there is no longer a moral compass. There is no longer, amen, praise God, a sense of morality. It is, again, as was just stated, amen, praise God, they, 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 are, they justify, you know, their, their own selves. Praise God. And so, you know, you get into, I believe, what would probably be considered, amen, um, humanism, if you will, amen, by the fact that, amen, it, what happens is man becomes his own God, praise God. And so in other words, amen, praise God, the edicts that come from him, amen, praise God, is what he will abide by or what he will live by. Why? Because the, the only God that he recognizes is in himself, praise God, amen. And so when we look at that- Richard. Yes. I'm sorry. Is is that um, evidence of an unbeliever? 
excuse me? Is what you're describing when someone that's no longer reverences God, is that evidence of, can you say that that's a non-believer or someone well, who doesn't they're, believe? They are definitely a non-believer, you know, but, you know, I, but I guess I would also say in an extreme sense. You, you understand what I'm saying? Okay, in, because in, it's my, my question, I guess, further is that um, I guess when you when you're saved, when you say you're baptized in Jesus name and you're filled with the Holy Ghost and then you begin to backslide and disobey God, is that putting you uh, in a category of being a non-believer? Well, that puts you in a category of being a non-believer. But I guess when we talk about one that does not fear God. I'm 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 probably I'm talking I'm going to a further extreme than that I guess is what I'm saying okay because here okay. the other side of this is this okay it when one does not fear God then how does one repent okay understood yes okay okay. okay okay and that's yeah and this is where we so even when when we talk about it in the two in, in the New Testament where we talk about you know there is let me let me go here a minute because um, I, I want to make this clear if I can. Let me get to a passage of scripture. There remaineth no more sacrifice for sin. Praise God. So in other words, if we reject Christ, what else is there? There is no other. Praise God, you see. And so, you know, so when we talk about let's say for instance the backslider or things of this nature there you know you can't I, I don't necessarily throw every one of them in the same category people backslide for 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 many reasons okay uh thank god that many have returned or many have come back praise god but that one that rejects god praise the lord amen and continues to reject god how will he ever amen praise god return if, if he, again, does not, and then when he rejects God, because guess what? Repentance can only be through whom? Jesus Christ, praise God. There is not another. There is no other sacrifice. And as if, you know, when we think about it, that person, when you think about it, sort of joins the crowd, if you will, that said to, that said to Pilate, crucify him. Okay, praise God, crucify him. Uh, you see what we're getting at? So I, I, I hope we're clear. I understand. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Amen. All right. So, so there is no fear of God before their eyes. Verse 19. Now we know that what things soever the law saith, um, it saith to them who are under the law that every mouth may be stopped. And all the world may come become guilty before God. Therefore, by the deeds of the law, there shall no flesh be justified. When we talk about justification here, we're talking about being seen as right in the sight or just in the sight of God. Okay. For by the law is the knowledge of sin. So here's what we find. And Paul lays it out, praise God. Amen. What the sin tells us, amen, praise God, is what sin is. Praise the Lord. Amen. It is not our remedy. Amen. Praise God. But it tells us what sin is. Praise God. It point. And so he says, for by the law is the knowledge of sin. If we didn't, if we did not have, if they did not have this list, praise God, or the, these set of oracles, these set of laws, they would not have known what sin is. But now the righteousness of God is without the law. Praise God is manifest. In other words, it been being witnessed by the law and the prophets, praise God. So what we talk about, this righteousness that comes from God and that as Paul will talk about, praise God, that comes as a matter of faith in him, amen, praise God, is really, amen, praise the Lord, amen, it is, amen, when it talks about it is, it is that with this, which is without the law, praise God, but what it also does by the witness of the law and the prophets, even the righteousness of God, which is by faith, which is what we talk about of Jesus Christ, unto all men, all them that, excuse me, unto all and upon all them that believe, for there is 
no difference for all have sinned and come short to the glory of God. And so when he talks about this, praise God, amen, he talks about the, this, 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 this righteousness comes, amen, praise God, which is what? By faith in Jesus Christ. When Long before we even get to the law, if you think about it, if you go back, I believe, to Abraham and you look at, I want to say Genesis 15, and the scripture says this about Abraham, and Abraham believed God, and it was accounted to him for what? Righteousness. Praise God. Amen. He believed what God said he would do. The word of God that was revealed to him by God himself, amen, he believed it, and it was in, in accounted or imputed, amen, praise God. That is sort of a, a, an accounting term, amen, praise God. It was credited to him, if you will, amen, for righteousness, praise God, amen. And how many of us want to be righteous in the sight of God? And how many know it does not, it yeah. comes by faith in Jesus Christ, praise God. Now, let, let, let me also say this, praise the Lord, amen. The works don't get us there, but praise God. But let me tell you, amen, praise God. Uh, but, but continuing to remain with God, your deeds are going to have to be consistent with the word of God, amen. There's nothing, amen, no work that we can do other than having faith in Jesus Christ that can redeem us, praise God, hallelujah. Praise God. But after that, guess what? <laughs> Amen. Praise God. Amen. We're going to also be what? Judged by those works. Amen. That we do going forward in him. And they have to be what? Right in his sight. Praise God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. How many, how many believe Amen. you got to, how many of us believe we got to walk upright? Amen. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Uh, you know, an Acts 238 experience alone is not going to cut it. Praise God. You got to walk upright after that. Praise God. Amen. 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 Praise God. It's Come on, saints. Amen. Now, we can harken back to that day the Lord filled us and all of this and everything. But how are we doing now? How are Amen. we walking now? Praise God. Amen. 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 Too, uh, and, and I don't know why I keep going back to this, but too many of us are talking it. Amen. Talking about it. Praise God. Amen. But the life. Amen. Our lives. Amen. Praise the name of our God. Hallelujah. Amen. Have to be consistent with what. Amen. Praise God. We are saying. And like I said in, in the beginning of our lesson, praise God. God knows. Praise the Lord. Amen. God knows. And and. I don't know about you, praise the Lord, but you know what I want him to say is well done, thou good and faithful servant. I, I want to get a well done. Mm -hmm. I don't know about you, but I I, I, I want to get a well done. Praise mm -hmm. God. Amen. Mm -hmm. I, I you know, and and that's that's all I'm concerned about right now. And praise God. Amen. It's just, you know, doing the will of God. And 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 for some of us, I think that, that can be. Amen. You know, in certain cases, amen, it could be somewhat of a challenge, praise God. And I, I say that because, amen, praise God, when you're not at a point where you really and truly want to give your all to the Lord, where you truly want uh, are committed fully to him. And when I, when I talk about that type of commitment, I'm talking about this. He comes first, praise God. I know we have desires and dreams and plans and all of these things but the reality of it is he must come first praise god you know when we look at the the, the widow woman that that god had declared unto the prophet that he had amen praise god prepared amen praise god to sustain him amen and you know and that, that I, I still wonder about how he <laughs> Amen. God does things in his own way. Praise God. Amen. But when and 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 when you look at it, you can look at it. I'll look at it from this point of view. Praise God. He chose the right woman. He chose the right woman. Praise God. Amen. Uh, Sister Lee. Praise the Lord. Uh -huh. um... Uh, I have a question, but first I want to give you what, what my mindset is. Uh, in this chapter, it speaks about 
you know, how God get the glory out of a sinner. Well, how they were sinning, you know, because God can no, turn. No, that's what they were saying. Right. Okay. Right. They were saying that God was getting the glory out of their sin mm -hmm. because he was turning, you know, he was making it where he was being, well, anywho. Um, so what I'm thinking is that, you know, reading this shows that how is this question? I have the question. I just trying to get it out. Mm -hmm. um, the law. Mm -hmm. When they look at the law, it really shows how messed up they are. You know mm -hmm. how. That's 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 my question. Mm -hmm. Is the law put there to show them how mess how truly messed up they are? Um, because you know they couldn't. You know they were they were sinning thinking that it was a good thing because it was glorifying him, but not realizing that they would be judged for that. Mm -hmm. uh, and they uh, go ahead, go ahead. I'm go, sorry. No, no, go ahead and continue. I'm, it's just it's just a lot going on in my mind. Yeah. So maybe what you're saying is going to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I don't necessarily. I think what he's talking about here, I think, are the gross wicked. Okay, among them. Okay. And the reason I say that is because when you look at the law and, and, and the remedies they had, you know, the sacrifices and things of this nature that they had to do, and they were also taught by Moses, you know, and others, amen, praise God, even the prophets about, amen, praise God, having that circumcision of the heart. Okay. And then here, what Paul declares, he tells them, for the law is you know, for by the law is the knowledge of sin. So essentially, it was the law that established what sin was. Mm -hmm. Praise God. All right, you see. And so, what he's saying when in 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 this particular chapter, you know, you you'll always have what we call those naysayers. Okay. And right. this is who he is writing to those naysayers. It's like on the, remember on the day of Pentecost and, you know, the Holy Ghost fell and all of this. And then you had those, what we'll call here again, those naysayers that say, oh, they're, they're full of new wine. They just drunk. Mm -hmm. See what I'm saying? It is that element that he's talking to, that naysayer that says, okay, well, you know, if that be the case, Paul, then if we continue to do, you know, we can continue to do evil. That, God, that the goodness of God may be shown. And Paul is telling them that is the wrong attitude to have. Right. But okay. also, wasn't it talking about when the Jews rejected him and now the Gentiles come up mm. and the no. chosen? No. Because no, what he's saying, okay. what he's actually saying in this case here, is he's saying, because the, the idea, it, it starts with what was the advantage, okay? And mm -hmm. basically what he's saying to them, again, even the righteousness with, uh, of God, which is by faith in Jesus Christ unto all, unto all and upon all of them that believe, for there is no difference, you see? And that's really right. what he's, he's advocating now, that there's no difference between the Jew and the Greek as it belongs, as it relates to salvation. It's for everybody. Right. And that really was laid out before person. the law, even before the law. Praise okay. God. You said. Okay. I got it. All right. Thank you. Right. Praise God. Amen. And my mind, my memory is coming back. It must be getting better now. Praise God. Because I can remember where I left off at. Isn't God wonderful? <laughs> he chose the right. right. Some of you old folk know what I'm talking about. Praise Amen. God. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Praise God. He chose the right woman. Praise God. Amen. She had, and somebody, you know, you look at it and you go, praise God. Amen. How that, you know, the Lord is, he's, he's, he's already prepared this person. Amen. Praise God. And, you know, and, and, and when he gets there, praise God, they're about to have what their last supper. Praise God. And it wasn't a big meal. Amen. And their expect, her expectation was that me and my son are going to eat this and we're going to die. But look at what happens. Praise God. When the word of God is set forth to her, praise. what does she do? She believes the word of God. This is why I said he had the right person. Praise God. 
Amen. He had someone that would embrace the word of God. And oh, by the way, she wasn't a Jew. She wasn't a Jewish. She was a Gentile, praise God. Amen. But she believed the word of God. And it is spoken, she is spoken of even in the gospels by Jesus Christ, praise God. Amen. Praise the name of our Lord. And so, amen, when we think about this, amen, praise God, and think about all, amen, praise God, amen, God knows, amen, who he can count on. God knows who he can depend upon, praise God. I kind of like with um, uh, what, what uh, uh, in our class on yesterday, Deacon Jarvis Fraser, he, he made this statement. He said, hear my Lord, send them, not me, send them. Praise God. Amen. That, that kind of becomes our attitude. Praise God. Amen. We want to brush it, put it off on somebody else. Praise God to do what the Lord. Amen. Praise God is commanding us to do. Amen. In Jesus name. And so again, he, he looks at it. And again, he says, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. And, 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 and again, looking at man as a whole here, praise God. Amen. Praise God. Amen. But but I thank God, and he says, but being, but, but, excuse me, but being justified freely by the grace and through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus, but amen, I thank God, amen, that he did not leave us without a remedy, praise God, and I'm so grateful, amen, praise God, amen, for that in Jesus' name. I, I, I hope we got something out of this lesson today, amen, praise God, I, I just, uh, uh, but the one thing, amen, that I want us to just, 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 just keep in mind, let's take this relationship with our Lord seriously, more serious than we ever have, praise God, amen, praise the Lord, amen, it, it is not one of those, amen, when we can pick up when we want to and put it down when we want to and, amen, God is just going to, you know, uh, pick up where he left off or we're going to pick up where we left off. Praise and it, it that that's not the relationship, amen. That God is looking for. He is looking for that relationship where we what we, amen. Praise God. Deny ourselves. Praise God. Amen. And it and amen. It talks about that. It talks about fully and completely or utterly. Praise God. Amen. And see when we deny us, then guess what? We give Him all the room that He needs to do what He needs to do in us. Amen. Amen. And I want him, Lord, we, 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 we say to the Lord, Lord, have your way. Praise God. Well, guess what? We got to get out of his way. Praise God. Get all the way out. Praise the name of our God. Amen. Amen. Somebody said, Lord, 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 fill my cup. Praise God. He, he wants to, but you got to get your stuff out of it first. Praise God. Amen. And, and allow him Amen. To do in you a work, praise God. Amen. Praise the name of our God. And, and that's the other side of it, is we're trying to get people to see. We're trying to do God's work for him. And he can't, we can't do that. We're just trying, he just needs us to step aside, get out, take a back seat to him if you will. Praise God. And allow him to do in us what only he can do, praise God. Amen. Amen. Become that clay in his hands. Praise the Lord. Amen. Allow him to mold us and to shape us in the way that he would have us to be, praise God. You know, I've come to the conclusion the only way I am ever going to be what God wants me to be, amen, praise God, is, be, is just to, is just to surrender, amen, praise God, amen, my will to him, praise God. Amen. To just, amen, if you will, literally fall limp like that clay in his hands. And that, and, and the Lord, I allow you to just have your way. Praise God. Amen. And how many of us want the Lord to have his way in our lives? Praise God. Amen. Amen. How many know we need to go amen. further? Praise God. Amen. Where we are, amen, we may have made a good start. We may have made good progress, but there's so much further Amen. Praise God for us to go. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. And, and the more, and, and see, here's the thing. 
the more you surrender, the more your faith increases in God. You get Amen. to the point, praise the name of my God, amen, praise God, that you, that you have literally, you can get there where you have literally given him your all, praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And what we want, amen. You know, we, we know how we talk about sometimes being, we, we look at some in scripture and we look at how they were, um, what is it? They were, um, they were, talking about spirits and stuff like that they were um they were uh, bound by spirits and things of this nature amen mm -hmm. had them amen captive praise god and all of this amen praise god but the only spirit that i wants to have me captive captive is the spirit of the lord amen, amen. Jesus Christ. i want to be bound i want to be wrapped tied tangled Tangle all up. Up in <laughs> him, praise god. Amen. amen praise god amen i don't know about you but i want to be possessed by him <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. Hey, glory to God. Hey, yes, Lord. thank you. God bless you, thank all you, saints. Amen. Come Hallelujah. Bless you, thank Lord. You, God. Amen. So at this time, I'm going to turn it over to Amen. Praise God. Uh Elder Gooseby. Yeah, I guess I'll take it. Praise yeah, God. Elder James is uh emceeing, but I'll I'll handle it. Okay. Amen, Bishop. God bless you all. Praise God. God bless you. Amen. Amen, everyone. God bless you all. Thank the Lord for our looking into uh, Romans chapter three. Um, uh, certainly there's, there's a lot there, there's more to come. So we're, we thank God for the word that we have received.